Joining us now, author of, wow, what a book this was from the very beginning. It is the Russia hoax, the illicit scheme to clear Hillary Clinton, frame Donald Trump, Greg Jarrett, and investigative reporter, Fox News contributor, Sarah Carter. Let's start with you. The legal aspects of this is as clear what has happened. It's really a small group of people. It is. But what they did is a spectacular betrayal of the trust, the power, the tools of intelligence we gave them. And the headline today is that William Barr is personally reviewing the conduct of the FBI in launching the Trump-Russia collusion hoax. Um, you know, he knows, and there's a plethora of evidence, that the process by the FBI was corrupted by political bias and personal animus. Just look at the text messages from Peter Strzok. They're virulently anti-Trump. They're profane, and he's leading the investigation of Trump. Um, there was never any credible evidence to launch the investigation, and Lisa Page verified that in her own testimony. Uh, Comey grudgingly admitted it. And then they made matters worse. They lied to FISA judges to obtain a wiretap warrant. So all of this, I think, uh, William Barr is going to investigate. And when he receives sometime this week from members of Congress a criminal referral, he will read what they are laying out, the facts, the evidence, and the law, which will initiate, I believe, a criminal investigation by Barr. All that James Baker revealed here... Um that Hillary's behavior was alarming, it was appalling, and worse. And he was arguing to indict her, the top lawyer of the FBI. And That's well, he, he didn't have the power or authority to over, overturn Comey and this, this band of Clinton supporters here. Um, yeah, this, go ahead. This is what's so interesting, Sean, because the most important point here is that Comey went out before the public and said no reasonable prosecutor would bring charges against Hillary Clinton. Yet his general counsel had been fighting with them for I don't even know how long. In fact, throughout the whole investigation, um, basically arguing that this was gross negligence up until the very last day. And that's in, that's in Baker's testimony when he finally changed his mind. And he didn't answer as to why. It was as if he said he was talked into it. At the very last minute, he decided to change his mind. But you could see that he was appalled by it. He was disgusted by it. And then the fact that Comey came out and made that statement just shows that Comey was being dishonest from the very beginning. Attorney General William Barr has a lot on his hands because he doesn't just have to look at the crossfire hurricane investigation when it started at the end of July, but he is really going to be looking at what happened before that with Stefan Halper, the mole that was working for the FBI who was in London, and his contacts with George Papadopoulos and how that all unfolded, and also all the information that leaked out on General Flynn. This is vitally important to understanding what was going on there. And, and I am telling you, Lieutenant General Flynn is the big mystery right oh, here, the, right? This and is the an answers are going to come forward. What? What we know McCabe and Comey did bragging about setting him up and knowing the FBI didn't think he lied and that's what he got charged with because they were probably threatening his kid uh, with potential investigation of jail. All right, so the rest of the media tonight, they're focused on, okay, the Mueller report. And, well, well maybe he did obstruct justice, but let's go over what's coming. We have Tom Fitton in the next. All of the... FOIA requests are coming out, Sarah. Criminal oh, referrals yeah. this week by Nunes. Barr pledging today an investigation. The IG report on FISA abuse. Uh, leaking report by Huber. Uh, release of more closed-door testimony thanks to Doug Collins of Georgia. The FISA applications, Gang of Eight materials, 302s. Now, of course, the Ukraine incident. Okay, that's all coming. This, there's no way this house of cards can stand at this point from my perspective.
It has no foundation, Sean. It is collapsing around everyone. And I'm going to tell you, one of the big things that we can't forget here is how the senior officials within the Obama administration played into this. Let's not forget about John Brennan. Let's not forget about James Clapper and certainly not James Comey. We need to look into all of this and we need to find out what really happened because what happened here was senior officials were trying to coup a sitting president. Let's go. The oh, Department right. of Justice was giving the marching orders to the FBI to clear Hillary Clinton. They created a legal standard that doesn't exist in the statute. And that was the excuse to clear her. And on the very same day that Comey cleared her, that's when the Trump-Russia collusion hoax began. i got to applaud both of you. You're a big part of all of this in this ensemble team that did the work that nobody else in the media would do. Thank you. For Thank you. Done.